Monday and, and welcome, welcome to, to the Kenyan, Kenyan Rant. Rant. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere yeah doing you know what or guess what <laughs> tandem yep <laughs> so we just came from paragliding and it was so much fun and scary yep you can jump into the video bye bye enjoy enjoy enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay bye enjoy the clip Survived. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yes, we had a nice experience. And yeah, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up yeah. and subscribe. Thank you. Because we had fun. <laughs> to the end of the video thank you so much and also please don't forget to subscribe and also share 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 it really mean a lot so now let me give you the breakdown cost so the total breakdown cost of um, paragliding is 15,000 shillings initially it was 10,000 shillings but now it's 15,000 shillings you can get a driver at an extra cost of a thousand shillings you also have to be up and you arrange with your driver what time they'll pick you up shout out to mawala he's the plug found them on instagram and this is their instagram page for those who are interested in doing paragliding i will highly recommend it for the second part of the video that was uh, balloon flights i also found them on instagram they charge 6,000 shillings if you just want to be on the balloon and 7,500 if you want the balloon flight plus breakfast. So I did the 7,500 package where I got breakfast after the balloon flight. Would I recommend it? To be honest, no. It's not a full uh, English breakfast, but I mean, not to bash someone's business. I just guess I had high expectations, to be honest. And even for the balloon flight, you... You really don't go around Nairobi, you're just taken up on air, there are people down below holding it with ropes and you're just basically shown that is Westlands, that is KICC, that is where State House is. You're given the history of Nairobi to be honest. 
so i wouldn't recommend it for purposes of being on a balloon flight because you really don't get the full experience you get a glimpse of the experience because you don't even get to go high enough and explain to us the reasons why they can only go up to a certain level because of all the flight parts so it's very busy flights in and out international land a local flight so therefore they cannot go high above a certain level but if it was in the Mara, definitely they would be able to go high enough so i definitely recommend you to save up enough to go to the Mara. but if you want to get the experience of a balloon flight I mean why not it's just six thousand shillings and you have to be up early equally i was there by uh, six i was late you're supposed to be there by 5 50 latest but though they did take their time i think i got to the balloon flight by seven there was a bit of technical difficulties i guess but i eventually got to get on the balloon flight i didn't get to see the sunrise it was in my luck i guess but yeah, it's mainly for the purpose of you being able to catch the sunrise on a balloon flight and also have other packages you can propose to someone, you can advertise on the balloon at specific charges. So it's someone's business and I understand the COVID times have been hard so I wouldn't bash their business if anything. Kindly promote uh, people, business has been tough and yeah, tick it off your bucket list if you can. So. If you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section if you have any comments also i'd love to hear your views on what you have to say about these videos and yeah so let's engage in my comment section and please like i said don't forget to like share and subscribe it means a lot so until next time bye <laughs>